right there and it's your knee and you can't continue? No, no. That, that's it, his knee. He can't continue. His head and he cannot continue. Oh, man. I can't make him continue. You know what? I can't make me. him continue. Now he goes over to the executive director of the Nevada Athletic Commission, Mark Rapp. Can you believe this after one round? I can believe anything in Tyson land. It doesn't seem like we're ever going to have a normal fight. There's Elias Gottam. Boy, somebody's mad as heck. From the Nevada Athletic Commission, they're conferring with all of the guys there now. Why would a blow on the head hurt your knee? I mean, you know, what? Well, when he went down, right, he made... Let's watch it. Let's he watch slammed it. on his knee when he went down. Let's well, see. Well, let's see. I, I want to hear him say break and, and at the time, watch Tyson's arm. Here he is. See? Oh, it's oh, buckled. Cold. Yeah. You can see his leg buckled as he went down. I'll tell you what, though. If you, I would like to see it at regular speed with the, with the sound. I think you hit him on the bell, right on the bell. That's, what, that's the way I see it, Bobby. I, I think that was a simultaneous thing, just as it was happening. Here comes Mark Ratner. <laughs> let's, let's listen. Come on, Benny. Well, there's a lot of scurrying in the ring. Uh-oh. They, they, better, they better put protection Here up here. Here comes security. Boy, we've seen this scene before with a Tyson fight. Let's not see it again. They're forming a, a circle around Tyson. And you can hear the crowd chanting its displeasure now. And things are getting ugly again. There's Shelly Finkel, Tyson's advisor. You hit him on. Look at the amount of security in the ring. You were fine. You were good. This is fine. Well, everybody seems to be in the dark. Well, I've never seen anything stop because of a knee injury, have you? I haven't. No. Nope. And I've been in it for 40 years. Well, we're dispatching the fight doctor into the ring. Maybe he can lend some uh, insight into what's going on when he talks to people. And meanwhile, they're... They're taping up the injured right knee of Orlin Norris, which buckled when he went down. At the end of round one, he was hit. Bring him right It seemed after the bell by Mike Tyson. Mike Marley, Norris's advisor, screaming that it should be a disqualification and Norris should be the winner. You know, Steve, I got the impression that Mike was trying to jam the left uppercut up as the bell was sound going off. I don't know that it was just a that it was a clean left hook after the bell conscious thought. I, I really don't. I mean, I'd like to see it again. It just all happened too fast. And when you start a bunch, it's hard. But it's like the, critter, the kid who cried wolf, Bobby. It's like how many times can we see this happening with Mike Tyson? We will take another look. We'll, we'll show it again, but we don't, we don't want to leave the ring right now. Saga continues. Never an easy day. We want to stay right with this picture because anything can happen. But we will definitely show you a replay of the end of the first round. Again, I'm sure you'll see it several times again before this thing is over. So once again, Mike Tyson and controversy come together. I wish I could hear what Shelly Finkel was just saying. Well, let's find out what's going on. We'll get Jimmy Lennon Jr. up there in the ring to uh, make an announcement. Take it, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. This bout has been stopped after round number one due to an accidental foul which occurred after the bell rang. This bout is officially ruled at this time a no contest. Well, you heard it. The bout has been officially declared a no contest. 
The fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, is with Mike Tyson. Ferdy? All right. Another night, another Tyson night. Give me your view of what happened. Did you throw the punch after you heard the bell? Well, you know, you were there. You saw it. It was simultaneous with the bell. And the punch wasn't that devastating. He could have continued. He quit on his stool. But I'll take him again in my next fight. I'll fight him right away. Well, let's fight him in December. I'd love to. All right. Let me ask you something. How could a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, all right? I you, he knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him, and he wasn't ready for that heat. Oh, that's right. All right. Yeah, Shelly, can they do something legally to screw this up? Can they no. go talk disqualification? No, they did already. They ruled it a no contest. It shouldn't have been that, but they did. We're ready to go back whenever Mike wants, and Mike said immediately. Your disappointment, I'm sure, was great. You've trained well. You're ready for a good fight. You're ready to come back in December against anybody. I feel great, and I just want to continue to fight one fight at a time.